Hello, this is Rob. Um, quick video on demonstrating uh, searching from within Outlook uh, on the slightly modified Kia environment. So let me just have a look what I've modified. Um, I have a desktop policy here uh, which is going to enable Vault Cache when users want it to be enabled, but I'm going to change it to do not store any items in cache. Okay. So this means there'll be no content cache locally, no vault cache locally. Okay, that's the first part. Second is I've modified it so that I've got store in vault available on my toolbar. I'm going to say OK to that. Then I'm going to uh, synchronize my test user, which is a user called John. and I'm going to switch over to my Outlook client and what, I, uh, what I've what i got here is I've got five emails I'm going to manually archive Ron, Vicky and Tom and I'm going to manually archive those now here okay and we'll wait a second or two for those to turn into fully archived items. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart Outlook and get Vault Cache to build. So what you can see here is that my Vault Cache is now synchronizing. The header is synchronizing. What we'll see on disk is what I talked about in the call is this MDC file. The, the, this is the metadata cache and contains the structure of my archive along with the stub of all my archived items. Once that's been built and the synchronizer is finished, which it sh shows there, then the virtual vault node appears in Outlook. Let's just see what we've got there. Okay, so after the synchronization is run, what we can see in my virtual vault is I've got those three archived items. In my sent items folder I've got the two that aren't archived. And on disk all we've got is an MDC file. Okay, no, no vault cache, no content. So now what we can do is if we go to the inbox and we search for Bob we don't find it, it's not in the inbox. We do a search on all Outlook items and we find it there. And we can see that that's from my mailbox. Yeah, and we know that that's in our sent items folder there. Okay, now bring this back across. Let's search for Vicky. Not there. Now when we search for all Outlook items, we find it. And how have we found it? because it's in our virtual vault, it's in our MDC file, it's in that stub information. Now this is all uh, fine, if I then try and open that item, I can open it, but that's because I've got a connection down here, as you see, to my EV server. But even when I open that file, there was no content added locally. What I can do then, is if I, um, if I disconnect my network connections here. No network connectivity now. I go to a command prompt. I can't hit my EV server. Now I go back to here. I search this time for Ron. So that's someone else that's in our archive and not in our sent items anymore. I do a search there. Ron. But you see, it can't preview it here because only the stub information is available. And if I try and open the item, again, I'm just getting the stub information out of Virtual Vault. Hopefully, that shows that my three items here are searchable from within Outlook. When I've not got a network connection, I can still search the metadata. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.